Welcome to the Midwest, my name is Jesse, and today I'm talking about the three biggest mistakes that I see breathwork practitioners make, and it can be rookies, it can be longtime practitioners. I made these mistakes myself, and I'm trying to help you avoid the consequences of these mistakes. First, and I would say possibly the biggest mistake that I see people make is that they are collectors of techniques as opposed to learners of themselves and of, of what breath actually is and how it works. So much of the time I'll get questions about, hey, what's a technique that I can use if I get up early in the morning? Or what's a technique that I can use if I'm a person who plays basketball? We in the West were like, well, hey, you know, my body's pretty much the same as everybody else's. He got this result, therefore I will get the same result. And of course you hear me saying this and you're like, okay, that does sound kind of dumb, <laughs> right? And it's true, it's just, it's not the way the human body works, it's not the way you work, but it's the way we think we work. So we'll see a lot of people investing in these apps. I get a lot of questions, hey, what's the best app for breath work? There is no best app for breath work. There's a lot of great apps out there and all this stuff, but all they do is guide you through techniques. And if all you're doing is techniques, first of all, you might see some results, but it's kind of like being, it's kind of like owning a car and you only know how to get into first gear and you don't really know how the thing works, right? You might see some results, you might see some progress, but you're not going to see the kind of progress that comes when you fully start to understand yourself, your own individual physiology and psychology, and how breath work actually works. If all you're doing is following along to things, that's all you're ever going to do. You'll just get really good at following along to guided breath work. The second big one that I see is that people just are trying to get high all the time. And I'm not gonna sit here and say it, it's not a good thing to feel good. I love feeling good. I do practice multiple techniques that feel amazing and you get high and it's wonderful. So I'm not saying that that in itself is bad, but I see so many people who practice breath work and all they're doing is getting high. And what we all see is this, this actually produces a worse breather than before they were practicing. And so many of them, are, they can't believe this. And, and again, I work with a lot of people and, and a lot of clients that come to me have been practicing super ventilation techniques, holotropic breath work, Wim Hof method breath work, uh, different shamanic techniques that are awesome. And you're not gonna find anyone more into those things than I am. But the thing is, thing is those shouldn't be your like first and only uh, breath work. That should not be the only thing you do. Because what happens is the body, the way that your, your body works is that practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. So if you're practicing deep breathing and you're practicing a lot of these breathing techniques that are really intense, what I see so often is that a person who already had bad breathing technique, already had breathing dysfunction, which most people do, by practicing those intense breathing techniques, they just exacerbate those problems. The third big problem I see, the biggest mistake that I see when it comes to practitioners of breath work, you'll see a person that believes that breath work is something that is just something you do 15 minutes a day, or maybe 20 minutes, or maybe a half hour, or whatever. But breath work, you know, the, the, the fallacy is, the thing that I do once a day, I sit there and I do this breathing technique or whatever, and that is all it is. And they forget that every single breath that they take, every breath they take, every breath you take, influences your autonomic nervous system. And therefore it influences 70% of your physical functions. It influences how you think, how you focus, how you sleep, how you speak, how you, th all these things. And so what we have happen is a person thinks, hey, I practice breath work. I don't, you know, that's, yeah, that's something I definitely do. And you might see amazing results and you might see wonderful changes in your life. And, and, and I think that's great. And I'm cheering you on for those things but don't forget the rest of the day. Think about it. And if you, if you wanna learn how to use your breath, really how breath work works, how to learn about how your own physiology works, how to learn whether or not that technique that you heard about that helps with this or that is doing that thing for you, check out my links below, check out my six week breath mastery course, my book, 
specifically my, my six week breath mastery course because we, we do experimentation. We do a lot of experiments on our physiology when, with regards to breath work. And uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Hopefully you won't have to make all of those same mistakes and undo all those same mistakes that I've had to make uh, changes for and I've had to undo and all those things. So I hope this has been helpful. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to go out there and be kind to one another.